everybody. So today I thought we could read this story. It's another one of my favourites. It's called If. It's a book about all sorts of ways we can think, what if? What would happen if cats could fly? What do you think they might do? How many birds do you think they might catch? How big do you think their wings might be? These are amazing. What do you think would happen if mice were hair? Huh. What might that feel like on your head? Ooh, they would be very, very itchy, I think. What if worms had wheels? Instead of crawling along like this or wiggling along like that, what if they rolled along? What would that be like? What if frogs ate rainbows. Look at that one there, eating a rainbow. Oh, ribbit. What do you think their ribbit would sound like with rainbows in their voices? No idea. It's fun to think about though, isn't it? What if dogs were mountains? Look at them all there. You see all the little trees on the top of the dog? The river? Oh, all lying there, still. What if dogs were mountains? What if zebras had stars and stripes? Look at the stars. Do you think he's happy he's got stars? I have a jumper with stars on it. Look at that zebra. Now, can you imagine? And what if you could hold music? What do you think that would sound like? What do you think it would feel like in your hand to hold music? I think it would be tingly and warm and thumpy. I think it would be fun. What if ugly were beautiful? What if all the things that we thought were yucky were actually amazing? What if that? What if we all liked broccoli? What if toes were teeth? I think we'd all have very bad breath. What if caterpillars were toothpaste? Ooh, la! Brush your teeth with caterpillars indeed. What if whales? lived in outer space. Look down here at the little ones. I think that in outer space, it probably feels a bit like being underwater where you can just tumble and you're free and nothing feels heavy. I think the whales would quite like that. What if leaves were fish? Oh, what would happen in the autumn time when they all fell off? It would be very squelchy underfoot. What if clouds were spirits? Look at all those animals sitting in the sky. Look at them all looking down at the earth. I think that would be lovely to think about that all the clouds were actually creatures that were taking care of us. What if butterflies were clothes? Oh, look, she's got a butterfly jumper on. Can you imagine? All light and fluttery and fluffy on your skin. What if lightning made rhinos? Look at that rhinoceros. How beautiful, how strong. What if every time lightning hit, it made a new rhinoceros? What if ants could count? Who knows what number that is? But they might move any moment now, around and round and round into a completely new number. So right now, quick, quick, what number, what number? 
And while they do, they would be cribbly crawly. What if the moon were square? Look at that moon. Looks like a bit of cheese. Look at that moon. What if kids, that's you guys, what if you all had tails? Look, there's an elephant with a tail. There's a child walking next to him. Look, he's got a tail too. <gasps> what would you do with your tail? Would you wag it because you're happy? Or would you swing it as you walked past? Or would you use it to swap flies or those pesky ants from the page before? What if spiders could read braille? Braille is a language, it's a bumpy language on a book that blind people can use to read. Look, it's got eight legs, he could feel them all. He could feel all the bumpy bits on the page. What if hummingbirds told secrets? <laughs> I think the monkey likes that secret. What secret would you tell? And if this is the end, then you can dream up some more. Dream up your own what if questions. What would happen if milkshakes were rain? What would happen if chocolate buttons were actual buttons? Would you eat them all or would you save some for later? What if we could all go back to nursery tomorrow? That's something I dream about. Love you lots. Thank you.